Hey guys, it's Lindsay, and today we're going to check out the Flaming Sword from Fallout 4. Made by Caleb Kraft, community editor at Make Magazine, and Ryan Fitzpatrick, aka Platinum Fungi. So what inspired you guys to bring the shish kebab to life? Well... Fire. <laughs> okay, well let's actually, can we, can we see the sword? Can we, sure, can we look at sure. some of the details? This sword has awesome details. It just so happened that I already had a katana that we could use, so I brought the sword and some various components, um, some of the other components Caleb had lying around. I love working with Ryan. We kind of, I wouldn't say we butt heads, but we, we disagree constantly in a good way. And that is, Ryan, he, he really gets into the visuals and the details. He wants it to look just like it does in the game. And he, he pours his heart into that. It, overall, it just improves the project so much to have somebody that's kind of fighting for the integrity of the visuals. One of the things that I really appreciate about Caleb is he is so knowledgeable and has so many different skill sets and is not afraid to tackle any project. I would never have taken on this project by myself because I would be afraid that I would, you know, catch myself on fire or my shop or something. And Caleb's like, no, 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 we got this. This is safe. This is, you know, just do this, just, just do this. You want to tell us about a few other of your uh, projects? As far as flames go, probably the most well-known is a ukulele I made after watching Mad Max that shoots fire. With Ryan, we built together a sculpture that's a, uh, a toad about this tall that shoots fire out of its mouth. My personal favorite flaming thing you've done happens to be with Mike and Gary when you help Mike make thermite to incinerate the companion. The companion <laughs> cube. Yeah, that's that, right. If you haven't seen that video yet, you need to check it out. Yep. It is amazing. If you were in the case of uh, Fallout 4, the sole survivor, would you use the sword? I, I don't think I would. It's so impractical. I mean, aside from how delicate this is and the fact that you could catch yourself on fire with the fuel, I mean, swords get stuck in things as is, and you add all this extra stuff on it. If you were managed to get this like into some meat, it'd be stuck there forever and you wouldn't be able to pull it back out, which just seems like a bad deal. You know, a sword is pretty scary as it is, but a flaming sword, unless I have some pretty serious firepower, I'm gonna run away. You know, it's like, I'm gonna run from whatever shelter or whatever <laughs> I have, like, they can have my stuff. Um, but the, the, the reality is, once you hit something a few times, like Caleb said, the, the, the fuel flame distribution system is most likely going to be damaged or stuck on something, and so it becomes a very impractical weapon. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. All right, I thought it'd be kind of fun to play a game with you guys. Uh -oh. I'm gonna give you a hint about a famous video game sword, and if you guys can get two out of three, oh. I have a surprise for you. Now, our first sword, you might say, is very helpful in chopping up chickens and smashing pots. I don't know the name of the sword. Oh, God, yes. I mean, we're talking Zelda. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of Zelda games, though. It started out with the wooden sword, the white sword, the badge sword, the master yeah, sword. Yeah, the master sword! Yeah. All right, that's one, okay. Uh, now, this next sword, if anyone in the game gets it, you better run for your life. You will never hear them coming until they sneak up behind you and just jam it into your back. Oh, oh man. I'm can bad. the, can the... Yeah, what's the name of the... The uh, big double-pronged sword from Halo, can that thing make you invisible? I don't know what it's called, it's just the, the thing. The it's sword. The, uh, uh, it's the energy sword. Oh, energy sword, we got that. Okay. This final sword is the, the big bad in this game series. And if you use it, you'll wield ultimate power, but it will also hurt your soul. I'm thinking it's in, Soul. from Soul Calibur. Yeah. yeah. Like the one that that ugly nightmare looking guy has. Right, that, like, right. I don't know. I mean, the game was Soul Calibur. It was called Soul Edge on the PlayStation. Yeah. Is Soul that the name Soul of the Soul sword? Soul Edge, the name hey. of the sword. Congratulations. No and as a, uh, a prize for winning our contest, we're going to make s'mores with the flaming sword. Don't play with fire at home. It's dangerous. We're not even that safe about it. We have fire extinguishers. See, fire extinguisher. I think this is what this sword was designed for. Oh actually. yeah, I got a nice caramelized. How do you like your marshmallows, Caleb? Not covered in butane. Ah. Uh... My marshmallow sliding. Oh no, it's all black. Ooh, yeah, nice you're getting the so <laughs> the the oils off of the sword mm -hmm. and the plastic out of the igniter system. Oh yeah, that smells great. Yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys at home. Be sure to subscribe and like us on Facebook for more great videos. You guys want a butane s'more? <laughs>